Great. Okay. Call to order this meeting of the Douglas Cable Access Advisory Committee. Um, we do have one opening on the committee. If anybody's interested, uh, you can email cable at douglasma.org or call 508-476-4000, extension 222, if you're interested. Um, I think it'd be great if we were to get a woman or a young person on the committee. I think that'd be great. So if anybody's interested, reach out and uh, we can answer any questions you might have. It's not a huge commitment and uh, you don't really need any experience in broadcasting or anything. We can uh, that would be very helpful in guiding, guiding you through what, whatever you need to know to be a productive member of the committee. So. All right, so expenditures. <clears throat> Tom. Okay, thank you. Um, on the expenditure side for the month to date, this is for the month of August, which is the second month of the fiscal period. Um, for full time wages, month to date was $3,652. The year to date is $5,331. <clears throat> on part time wages, were $1,142. For the month in 1,484 for the year to date. July was obviously a slow month. Um, for the total salaries, uh, month to date 47.94, year to date 68.16. <clears throat> Other expenses uh, were uh, county retirement for $22.62, both year and month to date. For employees, employers FICA. Are twenty-four dollars and sixty-nine cents for the month, sixty-nine oh four for the year, um, and other than that, the other only other expense was uh, for other services, which is for the internet, one hundred and seventy-five dollars and eighteen cents, and that brings us for a total expenditures for the month of five thousand sixteen dollars and seventy-five cents, and for the year of seven thousand five hundred twenty-six dollars and forty-two cents. So. We're off to a rousing start on the year. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So. Thank you also for the uh, information dealing with last year's budget that shows that we're in coordination with the Treasurer's Office or the Town Accountant's Office. Yep. That. So the slide up there now is just the. We reconcile yearly with the financial office. That's what Tom's referring to, and that's our our year's worth of expenditures. Very good. All right. To meeting minutes. Actually, we have that cable voucher. What's that? Just before the meeting minutes is uh, just that cable voucher. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Just some battery yeah, backup. voucher uh, for three items uh, purchased from Amazon. Uh, these batteries for the for the. Yeah, the different stations that we have. So in the community room, you know, we have a, a pretty big station with a, a lot of things that have power. So we have a battery backup system and a surge protection just for each system okay. that we do annually. Very good. And then some assorted office supplies totaling $704.35, which will probably show <coughs> up in September. Yeah. All right. Give everybody a minute to read the minutes from August 13th. to approve the minutes of August 13th as written. Second. So moved. So moved. All in favor. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? It's unanimous. Thank you. <clears throat> All right. We have some uh, correspondence from Charter Communications regarding upcoming changes. 
Dear municipal off official, Charter Communications, locally known as Spectrum, is making changes to our channel lineup for customers in your community. The English Premier League soccer channel discontinued Spectrum's right to carry its channel located on the SPP Tier 2 SD and HD service level. Effective on or above August, effective on or after August 24th, 2018, the channel will no longer be available. If you have any questions, you can reach out to Charter Spectrum. Uh, what people actually have been watching. Right. Uh, another dear municipal official, this was dated August 31st, 2018, dear municipal official, Charter of Communications, locally known as Spectrum, is making changes to our channel lineup for customers in your community. Effective on or after October 1st, 2018, NBA League Pass HD will be added to HD pay-per-view seasonal sports package level of service. Effective on or after October 1st, 2018, Newsmax HD will be launching on the digital Tier 1 Silver level of service. If you have any questions, you can reach out to Charter Spectrum. This one's dated September 7th, 2018. <clears throat> Addressed to the Town Administrator Michael Gazinski. Dear Issuing Authority, attached you will find Annual Form 500 Complaint Outage Report for 2017 as filed by Charter Communications with the Massachusetts Department of Telecommunications telecommunications and cable and once again if you have any questions about that you could reach out to charter and um, includes a chart of service and in interruption I wonder if that's just if that's self-reporting or if that's complaints of in service interruption I I'd be I'd be curious myself because they're all less than one day right and, and there's they give specific dates uh, beginning with March 18th um, the November 1st November 2nd obviously we're, we're busy um, I just don't quite understand it being due to the complaints but this is interruptions in service only on the cable TV it has nothing to do with of course internet service so all I can say is that if anyone ever has a problem with their cable TV service or their internet, you should call Charter immediately and talk to their service people. <coughs> That's what they're for. Okay. All right. September 13th, 2018, dear municipal official, Charter Communications, locally known as Spectrum, sent notice on notification on August 31st, 2013, that NBA League Pass HD would be added to SPP Tier 1 level of service in the Auburn, Berlin, Charlton, Leicester, Paxton, Pepperell, Rutland, Southbridge, Uxbridge, Webster, Westboro, and Worcester lineups. We have been advised that this change will not occur until early 2019. I will send updated notification when more information is available. If you have any questions, you can reach out to Charter. And interesting that Douglas is not included in that list. <laughs> right. Aren't we part of the Webster lineup, though? We, we could be, other than the local TV channels. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's how it's set up. It's a grouping of towns. Because right. I know that some people at one point were getting Webster uh, uh, local channels way back when, but they fixed all that. All right, and the, this is a table of the uh, meetings recorded. This must be part of. Yes, you want me to dive into the coordinators report? Sure. All right, please do. Um, meetings covered in August 2018. Um, you know, we had a couple of different uh, cancellations. Um, just one. Oh no, we didn't pay for any at all this this time. We didn't pay for any that were not recorded. And then, That's good. Yeah. And how did the Oktoberfest go? Oops. Oktoberfest. Um, that'll be happening. Oh, well, that's right. Not well, this week. The Oktoberfest planning committee. Okay. Yeah, just the committee. Yeah. Yep. Um. Sorry. That's right. <laughs> Uh, I did this chart just break down just we haven't looked at our YouTube a lot uh, as far as uh, the analytics go just because I you know we started posting last year uh, but I did a top 10 watch videos just to just out of curiosity and I thought it was an interesting breakdown uh, clearly board of selectmen videos are getting the most watch 
uh, but you know a few committees and then we have some of our public stuff coming in some of the concerts coming in down at the bottom of the list there even a 2014 performance still getting a lot of views I, just I didn't realize we had Drew Carey here last year <laughs> yeah I mean performer <laughs> of the same name so <clears throat> But uh, I can also do, you know, different types of breaks down, breakdowns and stuff to uh, to report different things. You know, if we if we get interested and want to see different <laughs> different ways of breaks down, you know, we can look at which playlists are getting the most hits and stuff like that. So yeah, just for fun, that's, you know. That's great. That's good to know. Yeah. <clears throat> so it's working. You know, people are watching. Um, as far as updates, uh, the the high school recording rack. Um, in August, I used some repurposed equipment from this room and the other room because we just did these two rooms over with the video stuff. Um, I completely removed everything from their rack and redesigned it using our some of our equipment, some of their equipment, a couple little new items that we got. Um, and uh, the feedback's been very positive. They like using the, the, the robotic cameras instead of uh, one camera. I gave them two cameras that are used with a, a mm -hmm. remote. Um, so they've been able to get a little bit better production over there. Um, they seem pretty happy with it. Um, that was one of our one of our goals this year. Yes. Cool. And have they have they had a school committee meeting since then? They have. They've had a couple. Yeah. So how do they look? Uh, they, they're great. And um, the they were having an issue where their uh, our recorder our video file recorder the Azure Key. It records a digital file, really high high definition, and they were having an issue where theirs was saying it was recording, but then it, it wasn't giving them any file. Um, so looking into that, it was just a protocol where they removed their rack from that room at the end of the meeting, mm -hmm. and they put it into a different closet. I think that the Azure Key has a, a processing time involved when it records, and mm -hmm. they were unplugging immediately and <coughs> killing the processing time. Sorry. I seen instances where if you don't hit the save button and then but unplug it first it just goes away yeah I think that's something like so, that uh, so that could be what's going on with it you, I assume they had like DVD backups or something or um, yeah they were doing VHS actually because uh, oh. the DVDs it all bummed out on them so but <laughs> they, they had a you know but now they're they're doing it on the Azure key and they leave it in that room now and everything's mm -hmm. been going great. Cause, <laughs> okay because we haven't had that problem on ours, so we we're trying to figure out What's different here than it's different there, and it's definitely that they move. Yeah, from but room to yeah, room. if you just pull the plug, I think there yeah. could be a serious problem. I think it takes a little bit of time for that to process yeah. it all. Um, but so the Apple TV that we purchased for the community room to use the same way we're using right now on this room, um, uh, the signal passed passes through the recording equipment much the same way so we can make it part of the, the video program actually the, if there's a presentation in there um, and that was requested by another uh, department that they'd like to be able to use their iPads and stuff to present stuff in, in that room mm -hmm. so that's all hooked up and, and ready to go people can use it just like this room very good that's nice yeah, yeah we were going to use it tonight but we ended up in this room um, this is an interesting one, that an, an Apple Airport base, a uh, <coughs> little airport base that controls uh, networks, Wi-Fi, mm -hmm. um, was found in the ceiling over there, uh, totally unplugged. Um, and I, I remember right first couple of years that I started, I remember Mitch saying something about extending the Wi-Fi in the ceiling. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know what happened, who unplugged it on them, but someone did at some point. But they took that out of the ceiling, gave it back to us, and I actually brought it over to that room, and that's extending our Wi-Fi signal into that part of the building over into the community room okay. um, and it also allows the Apple TV to be used in that room so and it's the same Wi-Fi network as we're on right now in this room um, but it, you know, just repurposing another piece of old equipment it was kind of nice find because it was right when I was setting that Apple TV up <clears throat> I was getting a very weak signal so <laughs> that's good kind of happen work cool. out um, upcoming, the <coughs> annual media expo in Danvers. Um, this year we got a, a vendor code from Comrex, so that gives us a free admission. It's normally 50 bucks to go. Yeah. Um, but I've gone every year, and they, they have pretty good pretty good stuff there. Um, when is it? It's, oh, when is it? Or when? When? When. When is it? I'm sorry, what? When? When day? Oh, when? Uh, it's the 3rd of <laughs> October, so it's next Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, 
but yeah, so that's that's usually a great show. They have a good a good show uh, every year. I couldn't tell if you're saying what or when. Oh, was no, no, when. <laughs> uh, and then Oktoberfest is coming up um, uh, next weekend, the weekend after. Um, and uh, we've secured staff. It, a bunch of interesting things going on this year. A little, little bit of different stuff than usual, so it'll be interesting to cover. But uh, they have uh, some sort of larger-than-life puppet things that are going to be walking downtown and stuff like that. So just got everyone on their toes. Just keep the cameras going and get whatever you can. Great. Um, so that's pretty much it for my updates. And then I just had some equipment notes. <clears throat> um, so in this room with the presentation stuff originally our theory was that anyone could walk in with anything and plug right in and use it um, in practice that hasn't been as successful just because people's settings are different or what have you have you. to do something what's that you have to do something in that in our room yes you have to have something in our room so it does have to be used by cable staff um, but I had mentioned to the town administrator that if we got a Mac Mini yep. and we have it out here, I have extra keyboards, mouse, we could rig it up and have it run directly into the system at all times. People can really just come in with a flash drive, plug it in and run the presentation off that. Mm -hmm. um, it's a fairly cheap you know, uh, item. Um, it keeps it in the Mac family so we can you know, keep it all together. Uh, he was supportive if you guys were, so um, I just figured that. Good way to support it, I mean, secure it from from uh, walking, <laughs> uh, uh, that we'd probably look into that. If you, how would you do that? Maybe uh, cable it down or something like that. Yeah, it could, yeah, some, just something to make sure that somebody doesn't. Hmm. <coughs> Not that anyone would, but the building is open um, a lot. <laughs> so yeah, because the I think the original idea was to leave it so that anyone could use it at yeah, any time. Yeah, but I mean, but I, I, an I alternative would the be idea for me leaving to pull it. leaving it out, but. Because if you put it away, you, then you're back to where you were. Yeah, exactly. I was coming to push the button. So, yeah. But if there were sure, a somebody way of, makes a bracket, if you could, uh, you know, tie it down and just have. Yeah, because we could even bracket tables. it over there somewhere yeah. and then run a, a little extender to the. Yeah, yeah, just 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 something. Mac Mini secure mount, sixty bucks. Yep. Not even. Yeah, I mean. Okay. My theory is that somebody's going to take it, they're going to take it, but if you make it so that it's obviously secure, that it would deter the average person, I would think. It brings our level of, of criminality up a little bit. You yeah, get yeah, a little it's, more talented. And then it's breaking it. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, if you've got a little hasp that the cord would go through that you'd, it's screwed down, that at least it's, it's something. Right. So, okay. That sounds uh -oh. like a great idea. So that's that's one that's just for this room. Um, and then we were discussing the iMac, the main workstation that I use. Before we move on, do we, sure. do we just want to go ahead and purchase that? Yeah, let's get, I'll, I'll make a motion that we spend um, not more than $600 for at the purchase of a Mac Mini for the, uh, what's the community room? Uh, resource. For the resource room the uh, to... Uh, so the Mac Mini is 500. You say you have a keyboard and mouse, or I do, yeah. All right. Yep. Well, the the, the the reason for the 600 is for the the bracket ancillary equipment might be and whatever else. So okay. So my my motion would be for 600 dollars for a Mac Mini for the resource room to allow people to do their computer presentations um, without need of assist from the cable department. Would you be able to install that the bracket? Or do we have somebody in town? Uh, maybe the building's people would. I, I'm not sure how much they want me to do out here with right. installing. It's a good, it's a good point. Um, so I could talk to them maybe about installing a bracket for it and see what they say. Okay. So we, I'm just thinking we need to authorize more money for installation. Seven fifty. Sounds good to me. I'll, I'll withdraw the previous motion. They'll say they'll make a motion to. Uh, approve the expenditure of seven hundred and fifty dollars for the installation for purchase and installation of a Mac Mini in the resource room, uh, in order to allow 
people to make computer presentations in the room without the assistance of the cable department. Your second. Second. Right. Get it to his phone. <laughs> if there's no discussion. Any discussion? Seeing none in here, I'll call for a vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 It's unanimous. All right. Um, so we had started the conversation about a, a workstation, and I would put forth uh, that really big iMac Pro. Um, we had talked about looking at other options. And within that time of, of really cranking down and looking at it, um, there was a few things that I came to think. Is, is first, um, I was discussing with someone in the building about going bigger with our YouTube stuff. And they were saying, you know, why? And I said, just, uh, it's a nicer file. It's an, and, he, and he said, well, if you do the same as the broadcast file, then you're going with the quick turnaround again. And I said, you know, that, it's true. So I guess it's a it's a, a theory from from this point forward. Do we want to increase the, the the files to be these high definition files that are going to you know go on YouTube like that, or do we want to keep them at the same as the broadcast file? In which case, I make one file that's heavily compressed, the small file. It doesn't take as long to upload. Um, you know, I've never I haven't heard any complaints about the file sizes and types. So I mean, I may have been jumping ahead of where we're at, saying we need this bigger computer to do these more intense files. When looking at the 27 inch iMac and considering, you know, trying to keep things, if we were trying to keep things as they are, the newer iMacs, we could bump up the uh, the memory a little bit, which will help, and the, the graphics card a little bit. And that's what this quote shows here. And they're actually getting cheaper. So, um, hello. Uh, so, I, I think that we could do an iMac replacement, of the, the 5K iMac replacement, um, when all said and done. Uh, and then, so this is the breakdown. It, it has a drive, and then um, AppleCare, I think, is a great idea on all these machines because it allows us to get right on the phone with Apple and fix anything and, that we need to. This is also a significant savings over the other. Huge proposals. savings. Um, you know, I was, just, I was just trying to be a little more realistic about the direction that we need to go with it. And I think that honestly, you know, having some pause last time about how expensive that was, I, I was looking at it all going, you know, theoretically, since I've started this, it's pretty much been trying to do the best we can uh, as, as, as most cost effectively as possible. Um, so, you know, the iMac 5K, I think I'm confident we could do it, you know, with that replacement. Um, and what will we do with the existing? Well, the existing, the interesting thing about the existing is that for as long as that thing lives, if I network it in, I believe that I can tap into the multi-cores from the two different machines when I'm using compressor to actually give me a faster transcode. So it might actually help me in that way. Um, otherwise, the iMac would probably be moved aside as a station, possibly just for editing for, for folks that come in and want to edit um, until its lifespan is out. I mean. Okay. It'll still spin up and turn on and everything, but I, I, as I saw with the other older iMac, it was like, you know, when that thing is, was ready to go, it was just no longer usable. I could no longer, like, updates would take forever. Anything I tried to do would take forever, and I'm just trying to get ahead of this one. This one's still working pretty good. I just want to make sure we get ahead of it, you know? Yep. And we did budget this year for uh, the iMac, and then I'd say the two systems that are at most use in this position are the iMac for the main workstation and then a, a good uh, MacBook Pro uh, to be able to do other, you know, there's other things that happen outside of the office that need to be done as well, mm -hmm. so. Um, and leading into that conversation, that's the next one that I have is for a newer iMac, uh, I mean MacBook Pro. And both of these have um, additional funds for different adapters and things we need to get because Apple of all the things they do wonderfully, they don't like to add a, any ports to their new systems. Yeah. And this this still has SD, but it doesn't. Have, I remember I was I went to pop a DVD and I went, oh yeah, they don't they didn't yeah, even make no. them in this model. So no, you got to buy the DVD, the drive, Separately, the super yeah. drive. Oh. Yeah, that's unfortunate, but they but, make them skinny now. <laughs> yeah, they do. They do get skinnier. Um, Going back to the iMac, yes. if you wanted to do the the more high def files, you could do it on this machine. It would just take. It would just take longer, yeah. 
So if there's something special project you were working on. You know, for, for me, um, I recently went from, uh, we used to do, we used to use the school's equipment to do like the town meeting stuff with multicam and it wasn't really working. The, the Our stuff and their stuff weren't playing nicely together. So what I did is went to, a, I took our cameras and just shot with the cameras. And then what I do is I ingest all the footage and then you can do multi multi-cam cuts right in final cut which is really nice yeah. it's, a, it's a lot better because you know if you're live and doing cutting and you do a bad cut there's no getting it back but in that you can literally you know go back and do your cuts better <coughs> so i do prefer it as a workflow to the other way and it's much easier because i can just pop up three cameras on batteries and record and then break them down and bring them back and now you know if i'm setting it i guess what i'm getting at is if i'm there and i'm setting up a multi-cam uh, live cut mm -hmm. I have wires coming into yeah. me I have wires you know what I mean so it's, yep. for me it's just a, it's a matter of simplicity it's just when I do those multi cut uh, edits like that which you know for, for government they're far and few between it's mostly the town meeting stuff um, but for public we do use them and it, it does come out nicely when you can do like the you know open house night or whatever with a few different cameras and then cut them and really be able to get in there and precisely do it um, so for that type of stuff, the iMac is just, it's its so slow, and it, it, it takes forever to um, ingest the footage, it takes forever to start working with it, and then you hit beach balls, and then you're just, you know, it, it's just a very, uh, mm -hmm. it's an intense process, and I think that's something like the iMac, <laughs> the iMac Pro or the Mac Pro Tower, something of that nature would, would do a much better job <coughs> specifically with that, you know, so if, if we're doing that in a sparing way, the iMac can do it. It's just it's it's a little more of a frustrating task. But I think with increased RAM and increased uh, graphics card, I think that we may see uh, a little bit of difference there. And also that I've been toying with some using external storage instead of the computer's storage mm -hmm. when I'm doing it. Yeah. And and with a fast drive externally, I think that we can maybe even get that much more of an edge out of it. You know. Or just. Just put the files you're working on on the on the drive. That yeah, just keep them on the drive and not on the on, computer. On the internal drive. Right. So if we do a combination yeah. of things, I yeah. think that I can make the, the iMac work for us for, you know, like another four years. And then at that point, we can look at it and say, yeah. you know what? I think that's reasonable. Yep. So, so shall we make a motion on this particular device? Shall we, you want to move forward with this? Um, or do we need more? We'll do one at a time there. Yeah, let's do one at a time. Okay. Just. Yeah, I'll entertain a motion. Uh, I'll make a motion to approve the f expenditure of not more than $4,000 for a 27 inch iMac uh, as proposed. There's a second. Second. Any discussion? Seeing none of the one, I'll call for a vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 It's unanimous. Thank you. Um, so yeah, this, this is the first time I've brought this up to you guys, but uh, for as far as MacBook Pro goes, um, you know, it's not fully kitted out, but it, it does have a few uh, upgrades from this machine here. Um, And then I would just need to buy some adapters to, because we do a lot of SD card transfers for the, the cameras, mm -hmm. um, things like that, that I, I just have to get dongles for. But, uh, so, the, the rationale for, for <coughs> this one, to, re, to replace that? To replace this one, yeah. And then this one um, would become a useful product for, you know, uh, someone who might take the class or use some of our equipment um, want to edit ex you know and this one again this one's a little bit older so this was this is about five years old this year um, and in contrast we we used to do a three-year lifespan for mm -hmm. all computers but um, you know, this thing's been humming good at about five years uh, it is starting to get really slow if I if I try to edit with it it's very uh, very frustrating in that way. Long processing times. So, I'll entertain a motion. I'll, I'll make a motion that we 
to expend not more than where forty-eight hundred dollars for the purchase of a fifty fifteen-inch MacBook Pro to replace our existing MacBook Pro. Mayor, second. Uh, second. Any discussion. Seeing none in here, I'll call for a vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And it's unanimous. All right. Thank you very much. Um, I included this just to show you guys with when we're discussing the resource room uh, PA system uh, we did get one quote and I don't know if you guys want to go into the quotes at another time if you guys want to have some time to read them over but the initial quote that we got was pretty pretty top of the line equipment top of the line setup was about 15 about 15,600 um, and then I got another quote from another company kind of the opposite going with more affordable as the task and they they came in at about 60 about sixty eight hundred dollars so we have a low of about 68 and a high of about 16. Uh, so I haven't seen the 68 one yet so I yeah I just got it in so I did I didn't know if you guys wanted to see that but I was thinking about as far as targeting for the project now I think we have a good high and a good low I didn't know if you guys wanted to meet somewhere in the middle there and give it a, a project kind of a cost projection that we can I have, well, I have, I have two questions <laughs> yeah. one does this have to be approved by the, the town meeting well that's that's why I wanted to at least discuss it is because right now so with the proposed that we just had and with what we had available this is what we have remaining that's in our operating budget that 13,000 right so we don't have to go to town meeting for that if we went with the first quote at about you know, 16,000, we'd probably have to go to town meeting, which we'd have to have, like, this Wednesday, we'd have to have an article in in order to do that. Um, I was anticipating that we'd take the high one and the low one and maybe go somewhere in the middle for a good target range. But that's still a large chunk of what's remaining in our equipment. It's a huge chunk. The, the only things that we budgeted for last year for equipment were these two computers that we just talked about. So we don't have any other... Th Barring something coming out of nowhere, we don't have any other stuff budgeted this year for equipment. And having used uh, some older equipment for the high school is what actually saved us uh, quite a few thousand dollars that we had actually prepared to put into that system, which kind of gave us a little extra that we can make <coughs> play with as far as the, the PA system goes. Then my other question is, uh, how much should the cable department be investing in the audio quality of the for the speaker for the audience in this room right and i guess it would be a question of, to the town administrator or and or the selectmen as to uh, whether this is an avenue that they would want the cable committee to pursue yeah so we Cable, we definitely need something to improve the audio audio quality for our recordings, but it's all tied together, so it's yeah. Kinda, well, that's that's the whole thing. It's, yeah. It's so. Uh, so. Be, yeah. yeah, because our our concern is the audio quality of what's what's being recorded. Right. But. Uh, um, it would it would be it would be good to get some direction on. At least my opinion is it would be good to get some direction on this. Do you want to? So, I would maybe discuss with the town administrator yeah, where he came first. Yeah. If he thinks that, see, I was just going off inertia because we already own this one. So, but you know, you're right. So I'm asking him just if he thinks that the cable, the cable. I, I'd tell him what this initial quote was for, and, and it would, you know, it's kind of a deluxe system for making the, the audio in here good I mean I also notice again references to uh, ADA for people with disabilities to be able to hear as well as everybody else so uh, I, I get I, that's why I want to get the direction I mean it's uh, okay it's just it's just yeah. a, a significant project for this group it is it's not any and that you know that's kind of the surprise to us because in trying to figure it out and we've had difficulty sort of doing it ourselves and then getting a, a professional in here to give us that kind of quote it really does prove that it's sort of a bigger uh, bite right. than we were initially prepared for having a little experience on these kinds of things I think 
that is a system where you literally, after it's set up, you don't have to have a trained operator. It will just work. If we had somebody here all the time that was trained, oh, I can change this, I can change this, okay, that's what you need for this, then you could spend less, but that's, right. in, in reality, that's not gonna ever be the case, so. But, so if we could, yeah. I, I was just gonna say, to, to, do, to answer the timely question, which would be, do we need to put so, an article in for the town meeting? I would say, if we're not planning to spend more than 13,000, then we have operating budget up to that, so. Okay. You know what I mean? So it depends on. Okay, because then, I mean, if, if, if you have to get a third quote, that's one thing and the other thing is I'd, I'd have to go back and we probably need to sit down and go through those line by line and see what it is that we sure. really want and what we don't want that's the this this project didn't unfold the way the way that projects generally do so like when we we did the cameras we went out and we knew exactly what we were looking for we got three quotes and the, mm -hmm. this one kind of came on us like we were just kind of trying to figure out how to fix it yep and now we're now that we have a quote i have to go get two more quotes all this to get this hum out of the out of the equipment i know <laughs> yeah <laughs> but um so so yeah it is a little different than than usual so but with the protocols that we're under, I think I'll have to get the three total quotes and then we'll have to compare the quotes. And um, But having said that, I think we have to also give a fair idea to the vendors of what we're looking for, you know, so. Right, it, it's, that's, I mean, because, I mean, I'm sort of looking for what that $16,000 will buy us, but I, I'm, I'm not sure that that's the way we want to go. So, yeah, and if you want, I'd, I'd be happy to, I'll volunteer to talk to the town administrator if you want. All right, well, I can ask him the initial question and then I'll put him in contact with you if we okay. need some discussion. Yeah, they might be so frustrated with it that they want to make a move forward. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. Um, and all this, all this stuff came about too when we had a very hot discussion going on in the town. So, um, so anyway, that's, so I guess, um, I think the only thing I'd have to nail you guys down to is if you think we're going to spend more than that 13, then we should put an article in um, for the town. But then we'd have to have a number for that, you know, however much you think we should spend. But if I think that if you guys decide that it will not be more than that, you know what I mean? That that's I'm going to say that it's not going to be more than that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's kind of what I thought. So. <clears throat> um, all right. So did you send out the second quote yet? I haven't. Okay. I don't. I don't think okay. I did. No. I I just got a chance to look it over too, and it's yeah, okay. it's it's the exact opposite of the other court. So it's very bare bones, and then that other court is like what we could have in a dream world. Yeah. You know. Thank you. For yep. Thanks for dealing with all those things. <laughs> um. Oh, so this just kind of explains what I was talking. I forgot I had this slide, but um. Yeah. We just figured that out. So. And that's all I had. All right. Next meeting. Oh, yeah. September. It's going to have to be the 15th because the second Tuesday is, second, second Monday is uh, Columbus Day. That's right. I'm going to the 15th. 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 All right. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. We are adjourned. <laughs>